Tornadoes. Right, so this thing is four cylinders. It's got a common shaft that runs, let's say north to south, this direction in it. This is one of the exhaust ports. There's another one up there. The pistons and the cylinders are running this direction and the front one, the intake one runs that way. The exhaust one runs that way. They meet in the middle where the spark plug is. Uh, obviously this is the intake port and the exhaust port. It's two stroke and then on the end, these pistons are hooked to a pair of cams, basically, that rotate the shaft around when the piston and its piston extension, which has got a bunch of rollers on it, roll around the camshaft, and that's how it turns the shaft. So anyway, we've got uh, an ECU here in kind of a dyno harness, and then it's got a supercharger on it, which it will ultimately have turbos also, but for right now, it's got a supercharger on it, and they've developed this two-speed control method with just using clutches and pulleys so they can turn this clutch on and get one blower overdrive and turn this clutch on and get a different blower overdrive um, and then we're using one of Marty's um, wastegate valves here as a turbo bypass you can see the throttle down in the bottom down there the drive by wire motor and then right now we don't have the direct injection active we're going to just run on port injectors which should simplify it some but you can see that it's quite complex. This is three years worth of design and engineering, and we've yet to have it make combustion. So we're going to try and do that in the next couple days uh, and kind of string all this together best we can to make it function. So that's, that's what this is. This is a mock-up. It's going away tomorrow. It's got little parts coming for it tomorrow, so we can actually have boost. We're going to use 60 minus 2. We're just working out where TDC is, which was a little bit of a trick. You take the plug out, and you can see the two pistons uh, they come together in the center like, like this and make the combustion chamber, which lines up with the plug hole. So it's two stroke, one cylinder fires every 90 degrees. You got the one at the top is number one, and then this would be number four as the crank rotates this way around like a normal engine from the front or from the rear. And then it's got two cylinders that'll be deactivated, which is what this valve's all about on the exhaust side. It deactivates the intake through that valve, and then this valve closes off the exhaust. So that cylinder and the one exactly opposite on the other side is deactive has no fuel going through it only has spark but it's never making any never moving any air it's closed off on the intake and the exhaust side with the deactivation valves and then the other cylinders are still you know have combustion going on so that's what the two lambdas are about one for each half of the motor it's not really half but i guess it is half but it, the ecu thinks it's one bank and the other that's how it's able to make it function correctly Anyway, <laughs> this is a, quite a mindfuck. I mean, I just spent two hours looking at the, the design manuals to see how the inside of it works. And it's like, it's like a piece of art, to be honest. So hopefully we can make it make some, make some noise and make some heat. And then uh, they can move to the next phase.